my name is Janneke. Today we are not in the Netherlands. I am actually in Finland where I am currently visiting some family and friends. I am currently in Helsinki at my mother's place and today we are doing a day trip to the Fiskars village. This is a city or well I guess village or town as the name suggests where I have actually never been to before and I've been wanting to visit for a very long time so yeah I'm excited to get to explore a new place today and I'll be bringing you guys along. Maybe this could be a fun idea on where to go to if you're ever visiting Finland or maybe you're someone who lives in Finland and needs some ideas on what to do and where to go. Let's jump into the car and start heading to the Fiskars village. The easiest way to get to Fiskars is definitely by car. The village is located about 80 kilometers away from Helsinki, but you can also take the train to a city called Karja, and from there you will have to take a bus or a taxi. We have just arrived to Fiskars. Now the first thing is to try and find a parking spot. And yeah, it looks really, really nice. And today I'm here with my mom. She's now concentrating on driving. So today I'm here in Fiskars with my mom. Are you excited to be here? Yes, very. <laughs> it's gonna be a nice day. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to say something? <laughs> Nothing special on my mind. I need to get some coffee now. Okay, let's go and get some coffee. So what Fiskars is most famous about is the Fiskars brand. You might be familiar with it. They make, for example, scissors. If you've ever had those orange scissors, they're from here. And yeah, it's a very idyllic and pretty city. We already saw a bit while driving and trying to find a parking spot. And luckily we eventually found it because yeah, it's a Saturday and it's a sunny day. So we're definitely not the only ones visiting. And yeah, this place has, it's not a very big place, but it has a bunch of cute little shops as well. And also some really nice looking cafes and restaurants. So we're gonna have a relaxing day here, visit all the little shops and stuff and here where we parked our car we already found our first little shop to visit and this seems to be some kind of shop where they sell handmade things found our way to the Fiskars Museum. I'm not sure what it's about. I guess it's about Fiskars. <laughs> Let's check it out. At the Fiskars Museum we got to learn about the history of the town. The Fiskars village was founded in 1649 and this is also when the Fiskars brand got its start, which today is famous for quality tools and its orange color. Here the cat is making a mouse for lunch. <laughs> At the museum if you pay three euros you can make your own bread in here. What color of a candle would you like? Here you can find <laughs> pretty much every color. It's my card giver.
waiting for some lunch and I'm sorry if it's loud because we are sitting right by a, I don't know what's it, what is it called in English, in Finnish it's called a poski. Uh, but yeah, we came for lunch and we have a really cool seat just by the water here. It's like a little bridge. Here is our table and here's our view. Really cool. just had some really nice lunch and now as we are in Fiskars of course we need to visit the Fiskars shop. They seem to also have Itala here and Arabia which are also a Finnish design brands. Here you can see Itala. Itala is a yeah, very popular and famous design brand here in Finland and they specialize in like kitchenware. And then we have Arabia, and Arabia is especially famous for making the Moomin mugs. And yeah, here in Finland, these kind of Moomin mugs are crazy popular. And once in a while, they come out with a limited edition Moomin cup, and people go absolutely crazy for those cups. And yeah, people will be queuing for hours because there will only be a limited amount of those cups and then they will buy them and then they will be reselling those cups for like thousands of euros even though the original buying price is only like 20 something euros and especially if you have a limited edition cup from many years back then they can be worth quite a lot so yeah people see them almost as an investment And of course in here we have Fiskars itself. So Fiskars does a lot of these like garden tools and these kind of things like shovels and different kind of cutters. But yeah, other than scissors and gardening tools, Fiskars also makes kitchenware, knives, a bunch of different stuff for your garden and home. So this might also sound weird, but in Finland kitchenware is like really big thing and yeah it's like a thing that you choose a few series that you want to collect and usually they will be either Arabia, Itala and then there's also a third one called Pentik. Another thing you can find in pretty much every household where someone from Finland lives is this Marisko as we call it. I have one as well. You know you're visiting a Finnish person when they have one of these. These Alvar Alto vases are also very popular. It's weird but kind of fun. If you need to find a gift for a Finnish friend, getting some Itala or some other designers kitchenware or yeah vases or something is always a good option I would say. But yeah, in that case though it is good to know if there is something particular that they collect. For example me, I collect just this this normal white one. I have quite a lot of that at home. And then I also have a Pentic series that I collect. Some fun facts about Finland. And the importance of these uh, kitchen and designer items is really like a part of the Finnish culture. It's a part of being Finnish. It's hard to understand if you're not from here. Here my mom is a prime exhibit of a Finnish person going crazy, seeing some nice kitchenware. Is this a new series you want to start collecting? <laughs> yes, it's very nice. <laughs> <laughs>
Next, we're gonna have some ice cream. I've been waiting to have some Finnish ice cream. Oh, what a cute little shop. I know immediately which one I want. Salty licorice. We can't order. <laughs> Mother like daughter. Me. <laughs> Some salty licorice ice cream. Mm. So good. Do you like salty licorice or have you even ever tried it? Here in Finland it's very very popular. We have had a really lovely and summery day here at the Fiskars village and it was definitely a place worth visiting. If you're ever coming to Finland then maybe this could be a nice idea where to spend a summer day. I don't know what it's like in the winter time. I do think this is more of a bit of a summer location. But yeah, there's a bunch of cute little shops and cafes and the place where we had lunch was really really nice and the museum was fun as well. Now we're gonna start driving back towards home. So I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. And do you want to say bye bye mom? <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>